everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Sunday the 20th, and I'm heading back home from hanging out in a tumble today with my buddy. Uh, went up and sat out in the trailer and smoked herself a cigar and that, and kind of bullshitted, and then went inside and I got my bike set up. I ended up buying a um, cheap, super cheap road bike from Walmart to give it a try for doing a little pedaling this year and see how it goes. Um, cheapest thing I could find like for a real bike at like a real bike shop was 400 bucks and then it went up from there I mean we're talking 700 to three thousand dollars and I wasn't willing to spend 400 bucks even for what seemed like a shittier bike than this bike is I picked it up for 169 plus tax so Amazon has the exact same bike right now for 159 and there'd be no tax and it's free shipping but I wasn't sure if it's gonna be any good or not so I figured Walmart has a much better return policy so I've heard like one out of every 75 of these bikes of this style are like complete crap. I mean like they don't ship, they don't break, they don't do anything right. And I figured if it is turned out to be a complete piece of junk, it's going to be a whole lot easier and cheaper to take it back to Walmart than it will be to actually have to order it on Amazon and you know that whole deal and have to pay for shipping going back. So I went ahead, took it inside today. Um, got it set up on his little indoor trainer. He has a little deal where you prop the front wheel in, you set the back wheel on a little, I don't know, electric motor type thing that creates resistance on it so you can practice your pedaling and that. It's a much quicker way to get your heights and stuff set up without having to, you know, ride up down the, the street and then trying to go back and reset it so you can kind of watch what you're doing and have him watch me kind of have his pedal to see how it was going. And we got it set up pretty close. I think it's a little bit off still, but I'll know a lot more after I go ride it a little bit and kind of see what it's doing. I also ended up with a um, couple fenders that were off his bike originally. He didn't like the fenders, so he bought a different set and I ended up, luckily they fit my bike. So I've got a front and rear fender which would be really nice when the weather is bad if it's raining out or even if it's kind of slushy, this weird kind of melty snow stuff. It's going to definitely help keep me and my bags a whole lot cleaner. He also says he has an old rack that won't fit his bike anymore. He's upgraded to much nicer racks that I can have. It'll mount, we think, on the bottom in the right location. But there's no holes up top, so I gotta either look into drilling and tapping that frame so I can drill it in the top underneath my seat mount, or we have to um, go ahead and actually I'm gonna make a bracket for it and just kind of bolt it together and bolt that bracket to my frame itself. So I told him not to worry about sending that home with me today because I was more concerned about just seeing how the bike rides and stuff before I bother carrying you know, a lot of weight on it. I figure next time I take it out, like when I'm headed to the gym or something like that, I'll just throw my bag over my shoulder, kind of wear it like a backpack, and then I'll just ride to the gym that way, which won't be too bad. So up in a tumble today, um, I, I walked into Walmart, get the bike, came back out, and it was snowing like crazy. I mean, it like literally was just coming down heavy and fast, and it was that really light, fluffy snow. It was just slick as all get out. It was super slick. People were sliding all over the place and that. His son came back home and got home not long after I was and said that he was sliding all over town. He ended up in two separate yards sliding off the road, so I don't think he's a real big fan of driving in the winter anyway. Um, my buddy's wife took off in the new truck and she couldn't figure out how to get the four-wheel drive to work in that. And then once she figured it out, she said she still was having trouble going. She was spinning everywhere, even in four-wheel drive. So I was kind of contemplating the idea of spending the night up there. Um, luckily, I didn't have to do that. I went ahead and said, you know, what the hell? I'll go ahead and give it a try and try to head home in the car. And it's not got good tires on it. They're fine tires. They're not snow tires and that kind of stuff. And I figured I'd just risk it. If it was too bad, I'd always, you know, turn around and go back or just go home real slow. And the road's cleared off pretty good for me. In town, they're really, really bad. So I'm thinking the wind's blowing a little bit. It's blowing most of the snow off. But in town, all the buildings are blocking the wind. So it's getting to be a little dangerous in town. The car's sliding around and stuff. But I'm out here on the highway right now, and I'm running 55 mile an hour, probably 50, 52 mile an hour, whatever. The speedometer in this car is off a little bit. But I'm just cruising along, and the roads, you can't really tell it snowed here. It's amazing how clean these roads are at this moment. So definitely loving that. Um, I'll try and get a little video of the bike and that stuff, and maybe kind of show you guys what I got. It's just a little cheap, super cheap, the only road bike that Walmart sells. And it's a little GMC um, is the maker of it. So a little cheap Chinese bike. The shifter isn't quite right. And there's a couple of things. I readjusted both brakes on it. The brakes weren't adjusted. They were way too tight. Like you barely moved the, pedal, the lever and it was like full lockup. So I, I backed them off a little bit so I get more control of giving it like 
partial brakes, I don't endo over or slide out and crash, that kind of deal, especially on the slicker roads. But pretty much other than that, all we did was hung out. We had some homemade noodles, mashed potatoes, and that good stuff. Um, some really good uh, spice cake that his mom made, which is always really good stuff. And I went ahead and told her I was going to change my vote on putting her in the home. So since she makes a good spice cake still, I figure we can leave her out of the nursing home for a little longer. But he says he's still voting to put his mom away. So we'll see how the vote goes. So anyway, that's about all I know for today. So I'll go ahead and talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.